Hi, um, welcome to the new version of the White Label CMS plugin for WordPress 3.2. Uh, I'm just going to start by going over a few of the, uh, the existing features and then some of the newer features. So as you can see with the White Label CMS, you can actually brand um, the WordPress uh, dashboard and, and uh, admin with your logo or your client's logo. Um, you can put it in the footer, so provide a link back to you, your website if you want. You can remove all the dashboard uh, panels uh, and actually insert your own welcome panel if you want. And for editors, you can actually modify the sections that appear in the menu system on the left-hand side. So you can really reduce the clutter down to the absolute uh, minimum necessary for your clients in order to get started. Uh, we also allow you to um, rebrand the login um, uh, window as well with it, with whatever you know your client's brand or your own brand, whatever you want. Um, but we've also added some new features which are specific to WordPress 3.2. So with 3.2, you can actually see that the um, the header is actually a lot smaller than the older versions of WordPress. And um, it means that you'll need to either resize your uh, logos to be 16 by 16 pixels, uh, which in our opinion actually is not a great branding experience for your clients. You know, your clients uh, uh, will have a better connection with their site if it's clearly branded as their own. So with that in mind, we actually introduced uh, a few new options in uh, White Label CMS. Um, the first one is to actually switch to uh, actually use the classic header size. So you can do that uh, by switching to the classic header size. And if I just put it back to being the larger size logo, You can now see that this takes up a lot more space, but it's clearly branded for your client these days, uh, which we think some people prefer. And also for people for updating, it means you don't have to create a new size logo. You can sw simply switch it over to doing that. Um, there are a few other things that we've added into this. Um, it's the ability to uh, make your header logo link as the site link. Now, what does that mean? Well, in some cases, um, you might actually find that your uh, logo has the actual name in there, which repeats uh, in the text um, next to it. For example, imagine this was your client's logo, and by default, WordPress puts in the name of the site right next to it. It doesn't really look great. Um, we've now added this link in here, this section, which is a uh, header logo, a site link. You just click yes, and you save the changes, and as you can see now, this is the link to the main site, um, which just you know makes it look a little bit nicer. Um, other things to note, um, <clears throat> we've now added the ability to hide the browser update panel if you want. Um, you can now uh, show the dashboard to the just the admin. So you can see right now that all these dashboards are hidden, but if I'm logged in as the admin currently and I actually want to see some of the dashboard areas, um, I can just come in and they will appear for me here, which is uh, qu quite a lot of people requested. Um, we've moved them around uh, the sections, so there's now a branding and dashboards panel, um, but you can still use your own welcome panel uh, on there, and the existing modified menus have been uh, kept as well. We've also fixed the uh, child um, uh, bug, which so that's now working with child themes.